Before jumping into creating videos, there's a few settings that you need to know. From shutter speed to shutter angle to aperture and ISO, the main setting we're going to be talking about in this video is frames per second or FPS. What is it and what FPS should I use to film it? Now we're not going to go into a deep dive into what FPS you should use per scenario. However, we will be going over the basics in this video to get you going. Before we start, let's answer the question, what is frames per second. In short, FPS is the speed of which a sequence of images show on the screen, as a result making motion. Video is simply a lot of stills put together in order to record and play back movement. The higher the FPS, the more images the camera captures. The lower the FPS, the less images. The most common FPS setting most people use is 24 frames per second. This is because at this rate, this is the most natural looking to the human eye when it comes to motion blur. Why is motion blur so important? Well, it's one of the few things we can physically see that differentiates whether something looks realistic. At 24 FPS, the motion blur is similar to how we see it in real life. It's natural, which is why this is the most common frame rate most people choose to shoot at. However, there are instances where you would want to shoot at a higher frame rate, such as 60 FPS, in order to smooth out the motion. Now, if you want to shoot in slow motion, you would want to shoot at a higher frame rate, such as 60 FPS, 100 FPS, and above. Playing back footage filmed at 120 FPS on a standard 24 FPS timeline would produce a smooth and slow motion shot. Now let's see the difference between the frame rates in action. Let's start off by comparing 24 FPS, 30 FPS, and 60 FPS. As you can see, 24 FPS has a more natural look. At 30 FPS, it still looks natural and a bit smoother, while 60 FPS is smoother but a little less natural. Now let's slow down each clip so they're in similar speeds. For this test, we're slowing down the 24 FPS and 30 FPS footage to somewhat match the speed of the 60 FPS footage converted to the 24 FPS timeline to show why it's important to film at a higher frame rate to show slow motion. From the start, you can see that 24 FPS and 30 FPS is a little bit choppy, even though it's filmed at a similar setting. At 60 FPS, it's a smooth slow motion shot. Again, this is because there are more frames to play back at a higher frame rate, which makes it perfect for slow motion. At the end of the day, the FPS setting is totally up to the creative. Different rates really depends on what you're trying to capture. Again, this is just a basic explanation of what FPS is and the difference of each setting. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one.